In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you six strategies that will help you speak much more effectively when you're put on the spot. And because the reality is that as professionals, as leaders, there are situations that will pop up that we aren't necessarily prepared for the question that someone presents to us. We could be sitting in our office and someone comes to the door, knocks on the door, and then just spouts out a problem that they're having and they're expecting us to respond right away with something intelligible or to deal with it in the moment. Or perhaps you're giving a presentation or you're conducting a meeting and then during that meeting or presentation someone puts up their hand or <laughs> sometimes they don't even put their hand and they just interject, they throw in a question, a comment, and perhaps you didn't prepare for it. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you six strategies that will help you speak much more effectively on your feet. The biggest takeaway from this is the following. There is a fundamental difference between reacting and responding. When we react, that's something that's generally instinctual. And we communicate in a way, or we act in a way that largely is outside of our control. And these are the situations where we often say something that we regret. Whereas responding is an act of volition, where we actually choose what it is that we want to say and how we say it. And these six strategies will help you move more away from reacting and moving towards responding because it'll give you six powerful ways to just keep in mind that you can address these impromptu questions. The first strategy is simply to buy yourself more time. And you do this in three ways. Number one is you just ask the other individual to repeat the question. So you can say something along the lines of, can you repeat that one more time? I think I misheard it or I just wanna be a little bit more clear on what you said, or I, I didn't fully understand or hear what you said. Can you just repeat it one more time? That buys you a little bit of time. The second way to do it is just to ask for clarification. And you can ask a question like, can you expand on that a little bit more? Can you tell me a little bit more where you're coming from with that question? That's the second way. And the third way is just simply to praise the question and then ask for a little bit more time to think about it. You could say something along the lines of, that's a really interesting angle that you're approaching uh, this problem from. Let me take a quick moment and think about that so I can give you a really good answer. The second strategy is simply to diplomatically admit that you do not know the answer to the question or whatever is being brought up. And there's a strong benefit in this because it's better to admit that you don't know than say something that you are completely out of your league or out of touch with and then you get called out on it or you give people the wrong information. You come out sounding worse than you would if you would have otherwise just said, uh, I don't know the information or unfortunately I don't know the answer to that at the moment but I'd be happy to find out or that's an interesting question. I don't know the answer at the moment. Let me find out for you and get back to you. The third strategy is to defer the question to somebody else. You might say something along the lines of, well, that's an interesting question. I think the best person who could help you with that is HR. Or that's a, that's a great point. That's an interesting thing that you've brought up. I'm gonna refer you to the finance department because I think Bill in the finance department is the best person to be able to help you with that question of yours. The next strategy is to change the subject. So imagine that you're conducting a meeting and someone brings up a, a point or a question but you feel that if you address it at the moment, it's gonna derail what you would have wanted to cover otherwise in that meeting. So you might say something along the lines of, well, that's a great question. I think that would be best served being addressed during another meeting, or perhaps we can have a separate conversation after the meeting about that specific question. And so that is a great way to essentially change the subject or at least return the subject back to the main topic of conversation in a meeting. The next strategy is a very good strategy if you have other people in your meeting or you have access to on your team who you can defer the question to or another way of looking at it is pull in to the conversation. And this is a great way to essentially build team collaboration, team camaraderie and team responsibility. So somebody might ask you a question and you might say, you know what, hey Steve, what are your thoughts on this issue? Or Karen, what are your thoughts on this issue? And just get their perspective before you share your own. And the last strategy is simply to turn the question back around on the other individual. Get their thoughts. So you might say something along the lines of, well, I'd love to give you my thoughts on it, but before I do, I would love to hear your thoughts. That way I can get a sense of where you're coming from, how you're looking at this, and perhaps I might modify my answer just a little bit. But just, I feel that getting your thoughts on it will really enhance uh, what I'm able to contribute to your question. And there you have it. Six strategies that will help you speak better when you're put on the spot. 
Number one, buy yourself time. Number two, diplomatically acknowledge that you don't know. Number three, defer the question to somebody else. Number four, change the subject. Number five, involve someone else on your team. And then number six, turn the question back on the other individual. If you're interested in developing your communication skills and those of your team, I'd love to help. Feel free to contact me at john at johngodoy.com, visit my website www.johngodoy.com or visit my YouTube channel, John Godoy Videos, for more videos on the subject.